good afternoon and welcome. I'm so happy to see so many of you here today. I'm John Bland and my wife Amy here and Juan Cuero. And this is Brandywine Brass with David Shalott. Um, we're so happy to be here today and to be performing for you. The first piece that we played was uh, Rechois Songs by James Kurnow. James Kurnow is a very well-known composer, uh, and he's out of the Salvation Army tradition, but he does a lot of arranging and composing uh, many different, uh, many different, uh, I want to say venues, but I mean uh, orchestras, bands, brass quintets, brass bands. He does just about everything, and uh, very well-known contemporary composer. The, uh, this piece, Rosh Rechlaf Songs was first written for a larger ensemble in 1988, and then it was uh, recommissioned by, and I'm going to look because I just saw it today. Ned says it's informal here, so that's what I'm going to be, it's a little informal. This is uh, commissioned by the Capo Brass, uh, excuse me, the Capo Brass, and the Myers Park United Methodist Church for Easter 2011. So this uh, recommissioning is fairly recent, and uh, I think it's a great arrangement uh, or uh, re, uh, rechristening of a, a pretty nice piece. We enjoyed playing it a lot. Uh, I'm going to hand the microphone over to David Schlock now, and he's going to talk a little bit. Yeah? Okay. He's going to talk a little bit about the piece that he's going to be playing. Thanks, John. It's nice to be here this, this afternoon to play this wonderful program for you all. Thanks for coming out. Um, so I'm going to be playing uh, a number of little solo pieces during this program. Um, the next one is a, piece, a solo piece by me, simply because brass players need a rest every once in a while, and keyboard players can just keep going and going and going. We're like the Energizer Bunny, bunny of uh, instrumentalists. So um, the next piece I'm playing is a piece by Juan Cabanillas, who was a Spanish composer, kind of about a generation before Bach. This is probably a composer that you've never heard of, but I think after you hear this piece, you'll, he'll be your new favorite composer. This is uh, a piece that is um, in short sections, starts out slowly with kind of a courtly dance, and then becomes livelier and livelier with each succeeding se section. Um, the organs in France, or in uh, Spain rather, were very different than the organs in Germany. They didn't have any pedals, and so none of this piece will be using, I'll be using my feet. Um, and that's a big, big, big difference between the German organs and the Spanish organs. Then following that, I'm playing a piece that I wrote a few years ago for a convention of the American Guild of Organists that was held in Pittsburgh. This is, piece is called Biblical Sketches, and it is two movements. It's two scenes from the Bible. The first one is the creation story from Genesis. And in this piece, you'll hear first this kind of um, uh, music that doesn't have, doesn't have a, a, a discernible rhythm. It's all is very kind of um, cloudy sounding. Um, it sounds kind of uh, without form and void from, from Genesis. So you'll hear that, and then gradually, you'll hear unfolding just little bits and pieces of the hymn, Morning Has Broken. You'll first hear this very fragmented, just little three notes at a time, or two notes at a time, then eventually you'll hear the whole um, tune kind of in a jazzy fashion. The second movement is Daily Dance Before the Lord, and it is uh, a piece uh, that's based on the story from 2 Samuel, where David was dancing. And in this piece, I hope that you'll see that David was uh, very energetic, maybe he was a little humorous, and certainly was a little bit quirky.
Our last soloist is Amy Jones Cherry, and we are just, again, so happy to have her with her very warm brass. Um, the piece she's going to play, Lord of the Dance, is probably familiar to many of you as a hymn and also a familiar American Shaker melody. Um, this arrangement by Noel Dolan is for trumpet and organ, and it was dedicated to the principal trumpeter of the Dallas Symphony when uh, they were premiering this in the new Symphony Center in Dallas. That's quite recently. Um, this piece has a simple introduction, and then uh, Amy's going to play three variations on that theme, Lord of the Dance.
almost forgot it's my turn again. <laughs> I'm going to be playing this little short piece by Johann Ludwig Krebs, another composer that you've probably ne never heard of. Krebs was one of J.S. Bach's final students right before he died, and so um, Bach would, it represents the Baroque period, and Krebs was kind of in the cracks between classical and Baroque. He had kind of one foot in the Baroque period and one foot in the classical period. And when you were kind of had this split personality as a composer, you were termed a Rococo composer or a steel gallant composer. So that's what he wrote, the style in which Krebs wrote. He could write very, very Baroque sounding music, very serious fugues, just like J.S. Bach. Or he could write in this very lighthearted style, which is more associated with the, the steel gallant, and that's what this piece is in, the, the style that this piece is in. It's short, and it is very much the opposite of serious. Friendships we've made and the friendships we've made have repeat 
audience members joining us from First and Central, and I mean, I, I, it's just a, a great joy to look over and see those of you that joined us today. Um, I did want to mention right after we finish here, uh, there are refreshments um, in the dessert, and to get there, you just go down the hallway, and you can uh, greet us back there. We don't. We don't have to give you our autograph, but we would like to say hello <laughs> if you are able to stay. <laughs> oh, Barb doesn't mind giving out autographs. <laughs> okay. Our last piece is by Craig Phillips, and um, David shared with us that he really enjoys playing this piece, especially because unlike James Curnow, the first composer on this program, um, Craig Phillips is a phenomenal organist, and so he really knows uh, uh, how to write for organ and brass. Um, he was here last year uh, in Philadelphia and I got to play a solo piece he had written for horn and organ and um, it's just uh, just a wonderful, wonderful composer for this, for this group. Um, the piece itself was commissioned um, for an American Guild of Organists meeting in 2001 and so it's fairly recent. Um, has three parts to it. The first movement is the prelude. The second one, Cantilena, is slow and gorgeous. And then the last movement, Toccata, so much energy. And uh, we'll be on the edge of our seats, certainly. You might be too. This is the Suite for Organ and Brass by Craig Phillips.
Thank you.